So we're back from our early morning excursion out to the fields to see the um, landmine detection training taking place. So we've come back to the Morogoro Hotel. We've had a, around an hour and a half to have breakfast, just get sorted, um, mainly while the guys who do the landmine training and then going off, they'll be having their breakfast and they'll be going back to the TB lab, which is where we're going next. So in about 10 minutes time we're going off to the Apopo TB lab to, to meet the TB detection rats and to talk to some of their handlers and, and this and that. Um, so that's the next part of the day. Place to work. I have an album here that I show everyone. And it was made by Ellen. She sent it here. Yeah? Oh. And she came. She came oh. with a picture. Do you want to have a look? Yes. Yeah. And then I'll go get my bag. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to uh, tell her we've seen that. Oh, no. Yeah. And she was so lucky. She was just, there was nobody here. It was just her. Mm -hmm. And then she got loads of cuddles. And you just had the babies then, hadn't you, as well? Just had yeah. The babies, yeah. yeah. This was this out at the field. Look at how dry it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> summer. So this is where all the magic happens. All of the Apopo news comes from here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the females seem a bit more aloof compared to them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got a female who's, well, probably over 1800 grams now. She's massive. Yeah. 1800, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, food probably plenty. pays her, uh, yeah. <laughs> food plays a part in it, really, I think. Food's plentiful. Yeah. They do get out and exercise every day, and Laura always, to be fair, incredibly lazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get her out of bed every day and go home. Oh, yeah. With the crystal, and then you've got like, they're going there and they're siblings, you know, they can go through. Oh, they can go through. So they're interconnecting. This one, this is mine, just leave them the clay pot for some reason. He keeps carrying everybody out because it is. He likes being in the corner. They're all different. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're nosy. Yeah. <laughs> but you see their nose, their snouts yeah, are a little bit longer. They are, their, their faces are thinner. Yeah. But very much Hello, beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Have a sniff. Oh. <laughs> it's just like little bits a day, but it's every day. So in the morning, we go and feed them for five minutes, and then an hour later, after they've had a chance to eat the food, then we take them to the play cage and they run around and do stuff. <laughs> we can actually, um, I mean, it's a little muddy in there, but we can all go inside the play cage. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. You know, they don't really have a lot in the US it's very strict except for no. Florida where they run rampant like a giant snails. This is why they got that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So so tell me about your giant rats. Oh we got our first one from Belgium from a lady who um has been working with Bart but she's got to do and then we found there was a lady in Newcastle which is just uh, north of England where I'm from. All these are one generation from wild the bred from ones you captured from the wild. The females are here in the kennel. So it's the males. And we bring the males, from. yeah. Yeah, it shows the first one of how much temperament comes from successive breeding. Yeah. How much from lines, but this is putting TNT into yeah. Ah. Na hii ni ni, ni block eh mm. tumepasua kwenye ile block la TNT tukapata hizi chenga chenga mm. so they like scrape it off a big block of TNT mm. right and that goes into the TX. Yeah, I imagine that's a controlled substance you know, mm -hmm. permission absolutely to keep that. Yeah. Right, they're training three rats and each rat has 
Like yes, we prepare um, six justice per rat. Mm. And then um, the negatives not one got Negatives not one So there's eight per rat negative, mm -hmm. which is what he's preparing. Yeah, but they can also do quicker training here. And they start putting one tea egg, pause on it, click, and then they start with the whole bunch. <laughs> 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 Jeez, <fun to> <laughs> oh, yeah. I got it. <laughs> but here you go, here you go. It's lovely, isn't it? That little puppy. <laughs> These are the buttons that they go in, the little cups. Yeah, I mean, but they've really done it. <laughs> That's a centrifuge because we, we take a concentrated sound. And spin it, yeah. Yeah, and chop the liquid and use the, the sediment. Show you some people, I've seen new faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> So they're doing a bit of training here. Excellent. I'm happy to see your faces. Merry Giver. <laughs> this is the early uh, training. We just the three holes. Aww. So like with the TX, this is the TV yeah. version. First they just get one sample. When right. they put their nose over it for three seconds, click, get a food. Then they have one sample with two negatives. It's more There's a lot of samples. There's a lot of samples. So after the rats are done, which is something that a lot of people don't understand, and I have to constantly, we're trying, we're trying to be more careful now in our wording of things because we have to make clear that the rats are not the only thing. Like the rats will tell us these ones are also TB positive, but we have to confirm it before we let the clinics know. So that in the past, it's, especially journalists would write it in such a way that it sounded as if the rats, the rats are the diagnosis. Yeah. yeah. And they're not. <laughs> but they hugely speed everything up. It's just like with the, the lung man. Instead of doing 100 samples, you're checking mm -hmm. however many they found. And it cuts the time down. We also use a better form of microscopy sometimes. We've also got gene experts, which is why there's AC. Now, this is now the WHO um, current standard. That's what they're rolling out all over Africa. Uh, all the whole, But they're very expensive machines, number one. Is like in this machine, there's four cartridges, um, so you can only do four samples at a time. It takes about one and a half hours. Really? Per, per four samples? Mm -hmm. You have to have backup. If you have backup uh, generator, if you have backup UPS, if power goes, it needs to be in AC. The cartridges need to be in AC. So it's very unpractical for an African mm -hmm. solution. <laughs> you know, it's like with the power cuts that we have, with the you know, it's like it's too high tech, and it's very expensive. Each cartridge is about ten dollars. Really? Yeah. Jeez. So this is what they want the hospitals to be using, and they're trying to roll it out across all the countries that we work in, Tanzania, Mozambique. Oh, yeah. So when they put the slide on there, they have to they have to check two hundred fields. So keep moving it a little bit and counting two hundred fields in order to to see if there's mm -hmm. you know what level of TB there is because there's different stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh you like the hero rat tour. <laughs> she got the same build as Taurus, isn't she? Yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 